What's good everybody, it's your boy D Chase. I'm back with another video. First off, I want to shout out to my subscribers and also my DV fam. I'm coming back with another video. Yes, I know I'm a little late on the video, man. Um, I was just trying to get the whole situation. And this, this is NBA Sports Talk. This is about the Detroit Pistons. Finally getting their coach. We got Monte Williams on a six-year deal. Worth seven, I, I heard seven five, but now they're saying seven two mil. Still a lot of money if you look at it. For six years um and i know everybody want to know my take of my um feelings involved in this situation i'm gonna get right to how we got him because first off he did we already approached him i guess the bag wasn't big enough i guess it was low um because after that it was low because um you know i guess they offered him some ridiculous ass price and he was like hell no nah. and then they proceeded to up in it before he could even um talk to another team and they made him an offer that he couldn't refuse so they ended up getting him on a six year and seven it says seven i must say seven five because that's what i saw now they saying seven two so i don't know what the hell it's still a lot of money either way i mean if it's seven two it's only three mil short of seven five if it's seven five then he, he getting what they what they offer but here's the problem with that and I'm not going to shit, I'm not going to put him in the same case um, situation as Dwayne Casey. But don't all y'all think that's kind of odd that, um, because I'm not shitting on the head coach. He's a great coach, by the way. He's, he's, he's way better than Dwayne Casey. Um, but, um, don't y'all notice that he suffered the same fate as, um, Dwayne Casey. Dwayne Casey, that year he led Toronto... Um, I believe, I don't think he, I think he led him to the playoffs, so he might not have, I don't think he led him to, a, I could be lying, who knows. But that same year, he was awarded coach of the year, and then he, signed, then shortly after that, he was fired. Well, Monte Williams suffered the same situation, he led Phoenix to the playoffs, of course they lost, but then after that, he, um, he got fired. I don't know, but, um. I'm looking at the situation, and um, I'm not going to put that on him because he's a great coach. He's not Dwayne Casey. Dwayne Casey's coaching has been outdated way back when he started coaching for Toronto. Like, he just didn't know how to utilize his men. He didn't know how to do sub schemes. He didn't know how to do play schemes and sub. His substitution was horrible. Um, Now, what Monte brings to these guys, he brings... um. He's going to bring leadership, so I'm, I'm going to give him that. He's going to bring leadership, and he's definitely going to run his team how the team's supposed to be run. I don't know what his situation in Phoenix was. I don't care because that's a whole different organization. Maybe they felt he wasn't the right guy for the job. I mean, and he was he, he was stacked with some stars on the team. Um, he was stacked with Chris Paul, the likings of Chris Paul, and then you got the likings of... Um, Kevin Durant, who just came over there, and then you also got Devin Booker, who's a star. Um, I guess they they play schemes didn't work, and um, or he felt they wasn't listening to his play schemes because he's not a bad coach. So I'm not I'm 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 not just gonna jump on the bus and say he gonna turn this team around. It's gonna be a minute. He got well, his contract says he's got six years to do so. Um. Here's where the problems with Detroit fuck up at. You get, you sign these coaches to these big contracts, and then um, or players, cause they did Josh Smith like that, and they just paid off Josh Smith years ago. So um, you you getting that like Lions? They did with Calvin Johnson. Not to get off the topic, but they did that with Calvin Johnson. Y'all end up still having to pay that man money y'all held him hostage from going to other teams but y'all still had to pay that guy the contract that y'all signed him to so um i'm just gonna see how it happens um i'm gonna see how the season plays out um we're supposed to be getting k back um before the season um you know said for next season which is gonna be great um so we can see him and ivy go off um we still got duran um duran in center he's gonna be doing great um, I just hope that this is the right coach, especially how much money y'all spending it, paying for this guy for it. Yeah, right now he's one of the top paid coaches in the NBA right now. Like no joke. I mean, I think the closest one to him, um, I forgot his name. He just got a job. I think he um I think he might be going to Philly. I, I could be I think um because I'm trying to figure out where the Nick Nurse go. He might have went to Philly. I think he the one I'm talking about. But I could be wrong. 
So, I'm I'm gonna tell all these Detroit fans the same thing I tell y'all every time when we get a new when a new head comes in here. Um, I'm gonna give him a chance to show me, you know what he could do because Dwayne Casey did not lead this team nowhere but down. We he led us to not making the playoffs since that one time he got here when he we had um Blake Griffin and he tried to take an injured horse and run him through a, a four game series against um a four game series against um, Milwaukee and like that ain't no star studded team but they got a lot of shooters. And they got um, Giannis Antetokounmpo, whom he was guarding. So that was already, he wasn't going to go nowhere with it. And he was hurt. But I'm going to just see what it do, man. I'm not going to shit on Monte Williams because he's a great coach. I would never do that because I got respect for the guy. The guy came in. He came in back, um, back with the OKC. And then he just been elevating. Every, so every team he jumps to, that team makes the playoffs. So, no, I'm not going to take that from this guy. This guy might come in. He might do a Larry Brown. He might come in and turn his team around. Remember when we got rid of Rick Carlisle, our next coach was was straight up Larry Brown, and he came in and turned this team around. Yeah, he turned around the first year he got here, but then he also drug us down a little bit when he did that bold move in, in the middle of the finals, in the beginning of the finals. I'm sorry, you're talking about you going to take the head coach's job in New York. That was dumb. Like, I hope coaches that come here after Monte don't do that shit because that was dumb. You gonna, Your team is fighting for another ring, and you announced to a, a guy you're going to take a job coaching elsewhere. Now, here's the – I'm going to give you the pros and cons of this, and the pros is not looking too good for Monte right now. It's looking good for Monte, but not Detroit. Monte is getting paid a lot of money, and he's the top paid coach in the NBA right now. The cons of that shit is – if they decide to fire him after, you know, three years, Detroit Pistons and Tom Gore still have to pay that guy his contract. Whether they cut ties with him or not, they still have to pay that man that money. And what do you think going to happen when they have to do that? He might take an analyst job or another head coach job, and he's still going to get two checks. He's going to get a check from the team he's coaching, and he's going to get the check from us that we ain't going to be able to cut because... Detroit teams always do this shit. They always get a guy in here. They overpay a guy. And then it doesn't work out. And then they cut the guy or release him or trade him or whatever. And then um, when they do that, that sends the team down for that. I mean, they can't even get certain people to come over here because they in debt and they behind. They have to pay this guy and they got to pay this guy off. So it's going to be a lot of situations. I want to see, I want to hear y'all thoughts on this too because I will answer them. I do want to hear y'all thoughts on it because I do want to hear. A lot of people are excited about it. i am got neutral feelings about it. I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm really not because I'm, the reason I'm going to tell you I'm neutral about it is because y'all approached this guy the first time and he said no. So I don't know if it was because the bag was low or whatever. Or the years was low or whatever. Y'all just like, we're going to get this guy this for this. And he was probably like, hell no, I can go somewhere else and get 10 times that. Because y'all didn't even let this guy leave. Y'all talked to him again. And then y'all just threw a bag at him. And then he was like, damn, I can't. any idiot would be stupid to say no and just walk away from this. So he signed it. Um, I think it's too much. Everybody that I've talked to from Man Beast to Ray to everybody think it's too much. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. If good coaches get paid to do great a great job or do a turnaround job for the team, because he now Monte Williams is gonna be having a, he dealing with a lot of young guys on his team, so let that be known out there. Now he dealing with a lot of young guys. I'm not saying he's bad at dealing with a lot of young guys, but I do I do think a lot of young uh, a lot of young guys from the NBA they do listen to him. So it, I'm I'm waiting to see. So again, I'm about to get out of here. I'm not gonna make this video long. I just want to express my thoughts and feelings on this situation. I want y'all to jump in my comment section and express y'all thoughts and feelings about it as well. Because I believe, I believe, I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I hope it's good. I hope he do come and do a 180 on his team and make us playoff contender team that we should have been decade uh, from a decade ago. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I got mixed feelings about it. Like I said, I can't. I don't I want to be happy but I I got to be realistic at the end of the day. So, I mean, y'all write down in my comments, let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going to get up out of here. This is your boy D Chase, man. Peace and salute.